So I'm going to show you all the stuff that I found in 2014. It was my first year ever metal detecting, and I found uh, quite a bit of change, so it's coming up. Alright, so this year I got $35.75 in quarters. That's a whole mess of quarters. That's all from 2014 metal detecting. So here's my two, 2014 quarter finds. I didn't find a single silver quarter. These are all 1965 and newer quarters. And my kids have fun playing with the quarters. There you go. All right, so this is my, these are my dimes from 2014. That is $25.90. Oh boy. No silver in here either. It's all 1965 and newer, unfortunately. No silver. But, hey, that's 25, almost 26 bucks. Alright, so here are the nickels I got for 2014. I got one that was in 1964, I believe, but these are not made out of silver, so it really doesn't matter so much. And I uh, ended up only getting 90 cents, and something you can learn about this, about me and my metal detecting, is that most of the time I'm in parks, so I'm not looking for gold. Um, however, you can tell how much somebody is looking for gold by how many nickels they find and how many pull tabs they find, because you won't find gold unless you find those as well. Alright, that's 391 pennies that I found in 2014. I actually found a couple more than that, but I do not have my wheat pennies in there, and I'll show you those in a moment. There you go. My kids love playing with money. wonder why. Hmm. Alright, so these are the special finds. I found in 2014 so I'm going to show you each of them probably individually. Give me just a second. Alright so this is the first and only necklace I found so far. It is sterling silver. The way that I know it is... Alright you see that 925 on that, on that clasp? The clasp of that 925 that means that's sterling silver. All right, you see that 925? That 925 on the back of this cross also means that this cross is sterling silver. All right, so here's another ring I found. This one is not silver. At least it has no markings to it to indicate that it's silver. There's nothing engraven on the inside there. And if it was silver, it would have an engraving on the outside. A band with a cross, a line that goes over to another cross, and this inner, this outer band right here, is actually separated from this inner band, so it spins freely. It's kind of cool. All right, now this ring I found at uh, Apollo Park. I've got that in one of my videos. The space-inspired named park. This one I found near a soccer field. Sterling silver based on that stamp. And uh, that was a pretty cool find. It's just a solid band. Alright, so this is the next ring. This is actually the very first ring I ever found. This is one of the ones that uh, really inspired me to keep going. Uh, just because if I could find this, then there's a lot of other cool stuff you could find. It also reinforced that my detector is a good detector because I could find something like this. So this is sterling silver. It has a garnet stone in it. This one I found in Colorado in a lake. And I didn't have the video going at the time when I found this one. So you'll never be able to see what I looked like when I found it. <laughs> All right, so the next item I'm going to show you, if you are offended by 
by uh, coinage that shows um, women in uh, in in ways that that could be considered offensive by some, I guess, if you're religious or whatever. Um, it could be considered offensive if you like art, then it probably won't be offensive. But uh, that's going to be the next thing I'm going to show you. It's only going to last probably about five, ten seconds. So if you want to skip over it, you're more than happy to. Um, but because it is a coin, I don't deem it something where this video would have to be required for 18 and over. If you feel otherwise, leave me a comment. All right, I found this one to be actually kind of funny. Uh, heads I win. Tails you lose. Found this one in Fullerton while metal detecting. Just around some trees, and I just thought it was funny. So I've kept it. My wife didn't like it, but uh, I think it's funny. There you go. All right, everything else I'm going to show you is going to be kind of uh, a little bit more kiddish, I guess. This is an orthodontic token, also found in Fullerton. Making the world beautiful one smile at a time. Non-negotiable. John's non-redeemable. This is for John's Incredible Pizza Company, 1999. Here you go, satisfaction guaranteed or double your dirt back. Car wash token. That looks like Chevron car. Wheat penny. 51, another wheat penny. Forty-six. Now this I've never unraveled to see if it is sterling or not. I imagine it's just junk metal, but it's kind of cool. I believe it was a ring at some point. Peace. Just goes all the way around, as you can see there. So I just kept it because it was interesting. San Jose's place to play at one dollar token. This one's interesting because on the inside there. It looks like it has some kind of circuitry or something, so I guess it could be read by their machines. But I found that one at a park. Another orthodontal, another orthodontist token. 1944 wheat penny. All right, here's Chuck E. Cheese coin, 2011, where a kid can be a kid. 1957. Sweetie. Never could figure out what that is, but looks like it's a bullet that was shot. But it's pretty heavy, so it's not a button. But it's something. Charizard. 18th of 1, of my favorite numbers, 925. That there, my friends, is sterling silver. And although it's not too terribly special, it's different. So, Charmer Boy Quarter. Bicentennial. It's the only one I found this year, last year. This thing, I think it's just a copper ring. But I thought that was pretty cool. This is also one of my first finds here in California. You know what that is? That is a British pound. Cool. You don't find that too often in America, I don't think. So it's kind of cool for me to find it. That was actually found at my public library. It's 2002. So it hadn't been lost long. Nice little bullet. And here's Thrifty Nickel. It's new enough to have a website on it. But old enough to be buried in the ground. And last... 1948. So I think the oldest wheat penny I found was a 44. There you go. And that, my friends, is 2014.